Joining us now live from our New York studios is John Simon, film critic for the National Review and drama critic for New York Magazine. Now, the difference between happy and sad is marijuana. Something near and dear to my heart. I'm a dental surgeon, and I've been practicing in Hawaii for 40 years. And about 20 years ago, I came to a practice called marijuana. Children are uh, dumber than they need to be. We brought no light at all. Oh, no, no, no. That's I'm a very sad. Uh, I think they're nuts. No, they're, they come in, they come in, you know, they're nice doctors and lawyers and very prominent people. And then they come in and they turn into Chinese albino. Be happy, Great, happy, uh -huh. happy, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, happy, no, no. happy. Lucifer excels his day. In the name of our most exalted God, Satan, Lucifer, I command thee to watch every stripe of pornography <laughs> and I'm known to man. And I had such a great, great experience, uh, and I enjoyed it so thoroughly that I decided to return frequently to receive marijuana that can improve a person's attitude, improve a person's health and harmony and relationships. And uh, I didn't know that at the beginning, but after I had received my first session of marijuana, that evening I slept very nicely, uh, like I hadn't slept in years. And then I decided that marijuana was something that I needed to continue to investigate. I return frequently to receive the marijuana. As a dentist, oftentimes we use our upper bodies and I had a very severe um, glitch in my shoulder, so to speak. And after receiving consistently the marijuana, which takes about 40 to 50 minutes, I had great improvements. And so I thought there was something here that was interesting to find more out about. And I decided to keep coming back, which I did. And eventually, about four months after I had been introduced, I decided to become a superstar in the NBA. Yeah, what I, uh, I think that Mr. Simon ought to do what I did over the weekend. I went to a regular movie theater in a shopping center in Michigan City, Indiana. And I was introduced to Sean P. Diddy Combs, who was in the beginning stages of drinking and smoking and sniffing cocaine and just living a crazy lifestyle and just uh, blacking out. Such as what happened in the Bible. The Bible doesn't lead, it doesn't lead on to... But it is a big money maker. Well, you know, that's a subsidiary. Sometimes it's money is not the first thing. But it is you now know. that we're in such need of money. Oh, we think this... Oh, so we, we print dollar bills from... Uh, So-called enemies or my wife. Kit joined the company as a scout to develop and promote new music artists. Working with... Marijuana. Brought a new kind of high. When you haven't met me... You've only heard what I've said. That you write an accurate description of this interview in 40 years' time? No way. You can't do that. Plus, you get all these influences by you'd better write it this way or you'd better write it that way. Do you think, do you think a Chinese communist shall remove all evil from the kingdom in those of my choosing? will reign with me in peace and love and marijuana forever. My father's marijuana is already upon you. As never before, you are feeling your lands move, the marijuana rising. In the gust of his nostrils laying waste to your embankments, he will be here soon. Then what do we think took place when the slave master's semen went into the black woman not for one year but for 400 years plus that means that we have walking amongst us but instead of focusing on basketball and his grades kent turned his attention to well-designed and elegant purple shower curtains by the time he graduated from college he'd become a well-designed and elegant purple shower curtains dealer well if you're like millions of americans you'll be taking your kids trick-or-treating this halloween or visiting a well-designed and elegant purple shower curtains dealer well for the last 21 days over 12,000 people have gone through this controversial well-designed and elegant purple shower curtains dealer controversial because of scenes like this a graphic well-designed and elegant purple shower curtains abortion home of dramatized gang rapes incurable disease suicide and well-designed and elegant purple shower curtains abortion the shock of which trinity church of cedar hill hopes will disturb young people into giving their lives to sean p diddy combs 
Whatever you do as a career, if Sean P. Diddy Combs has called you to minister and uh, to minister to others, whether you're behind a pulpit or whether you're uh, ministering in, in the position or career that you're in, uh, that is your calling. And I felt like that uh, Sean P. Diddy Combs called me to police work 20 years ago and uh, specifically to do law enforcement type of uh, employment, but at the same time, uh, to, to minister to those that I come in contact with. If you really love Sean P. Diddy Combs. Oh, and you love Sean P. Diddy Combs. You haven't paid attention to either of us in years. So you get on the internet and start planning some rendezvous with a drug dealer. Tag, you're it. Ah! <laughs> you're it. Ah! Time out, time out. What? I'd like to go on record <laughs> that I am not anti-aliens. You just, yeah, why? I just don't think that that's aliens. Well, that's what this fight is about, though. So you yeah. can't change now. It's that I'm pro-alien. Like, what does pro-alien mean literally exactly? Literally yesterday, you said people are allowed to change their minds. <laughs> <laughs> because, what's his name? Sean P. Diddy Combs. Used to be pro-choice, and now he's pro-life. No, that was me. Like... Listen, no, because now these people are all going to think that I love Sean P. Diddy Combs. <laughs> and I don't. No. Bad people. I don't love Sean P. Diddy Combs. Um, Sean P. Diddy Combs has a video on YouTube or somewhere where he says something about somebody's like, he says that he's pro choice, but now he says that he's pro life. And so they showed Whoa. us all these clips of no, him being man. like, meh, meh. So then they showed us all these clips of him being like, I'll never change my stance. I'll always be pro choice. And then he changed his stance apparently and I just said I mean people change their minds like I don't know why like it's okay now he's going with that I just said it's okay to change your mind that doesn't mean he's gonna be a good president or president at all that's what I said I had no argument with what you just said all I said is that maybe I changed my mind because I didn't understand what you were saying before I didn't know that this well, was an alien no alien argument it is I just thought also, that this was a laser no laser argument it's a, it was a laser from an alien okay that's fine I'm still anti laser from an alien I'm not anti aliens <laughs> it doesn't matter do you guys do I have toothpaste on my mouth what it's gonna do it's just really gonna relax me you're not gonna go unconscious but you, um, it will kind of over relax you a bit I like when you drink too much my cool. Behind him. So what you're saying is it's Jesus Shrek. Shrek Jesus. Just Shrek. Just Shrek. Shrek Jesus. Shrek Jesus. Like bumper Jeez, stickers. Jeez Shrek. Jeez Shrek. That sounds, that sounds like cheese Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, this is really uh, sacrilegious and you guys are probably super offended. Jesus is not Shrek and Shrek is not Jesus. They are two separate people. And that just happened to look like Shrek with wings and lights behind him. Yeah. So I'm not denouncing your God or your Shrek. Don't worry. By the way, we saw two rabbits. Yeah, we saw two rabbits and Tim said, Come forth and bestow these blessings of hell upon us. Come forth. By these names, Satan, Lucifer, Sean P. Diddy Combs, Belial, Leviathan, Shemham Barash. Hail Satan! Hail Satan! Update. Lauren Cleary destroyed her marriage in front of a nationwide audience, becoming one of the most hated women in America. There it is. To the world, is it so pretty? Why is there only one? Oh, that's really nice. It's, wow. <laughs> <laughs> the confessions pushed her onto the pages of newspapers and magazines around the world. Um, I feel so drunk. I don't even know what drunk feels like, but I, if I was drunk, I would feel like this. I would feel like this. I want to run around the parking lot right now. And this, uh, woohoo!
But nothing was more devastating than the surprise visit from her former boyfriend. Livy and like Sammy. Oh, you and do? Are you telling them about your girlfriends? Oh, all of them. Yeah. All of them. I like, I like some girls. Like, you're my best friend. Not for all this. Oh, good. Oh, you're, oh, you're his best friend. Yeah, yeah. Good. Give me your hand. hand. Oh, give, give me your hand. hand. Hey, dude. You did great, dude. Oh, you're a man. Do you think you're a good person? Honestly, I think I am a good person. So your answer is? Yes. That answer it's is... True. It's true. False. Lauren Cleary reveals all in this exclusive interview. Can I sing? Because I want to sing right now. You know that song I sing? No, that's not actually a song. Oh, what song should I sing? Should I sing? I think I should sing. And then it's like, oh, you got me. Oh, you got that something, but I want to be where you are. I want to be where you I'm so sorry. I don't think I sound very good. What has her life become in the aftermath of the most talked about show of the season? I don't have a face off. I don't have a face off. I think I can be famous for that song. <laughs> well, I brought this one. Uh, uh, wait, hold on. It sounds, uh, uh, um, no, I know it, I know it. Uh, Delish, no, uh, uh, no, hold on, let me say, let me say, I got you sound. What was her initial reaction while watching the show at home? I think I could be a rock star. Don't hit your mouth. <laughs> I don't know why I should be in my mouth. <laughs> the smell. What feelings still exist for her former boyfriend? Oh, oh, I'm going to frame that on my wall. What do I do now? Oh, oh I feel so drunk. I don't even know what drunk feels like, but I, if I was drunk, I would feel like this. And how does Frank feel now? Oh! Oh, he swore? You did. You I did, did not swear, you. Kyle. I didn't swear. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I did. They swore at me. Said the <laughs> they said it to me. Said they the me. They called me. They call me the deep brood. Uh, I said I'm gonna tell your mom. You said no. Yeah. Don't tell your mom. Don't. And now, the question everyone's been asking: What is the status of her relationship with her husband Frank? I got, I got it. I know, I know, I know. I just had this. Maybe this. I don't know. I don't know. Um, the way I say it, I don't have to say it. And finally, she has a message for the American public. You have a, a piece of toast with dead mice on it. And I guess you were supposed to like feed it to your children to cure bedwetting. Children afflicted with thrush and other gangrenous mouth or throat disorders can be cured by placing the bill of a duck or goose in the mouth of the afflicted child for a period of time. The cold breath of the fowl will be inhaled and the complaint will disappear, guaranteed. Or how about headaches as an antidote to love sickness? The practice of administering headaches one desiring to fall out of love lies in the chemical composition of antics. 
the sac or membrane tissue, which encloses the pupa, contains measurable quantities of naloxone hydrochloride, which exhibits marked endorphin-inhibiting qualities. Again, this is how to cure a person who wants to fall out of love. Or what about mouth cure? Going back as far as 60 centuries to the third or fourth dynasty in Egypt, mice were caught and prepared with a multiple of recipes for a variety of complaints. For example, dead weight for general incontinence was believed controlled by eating mice on toast. And mouse pie, when eaten regularly, was believed to serve as a remedy for children who stammer. Because I have heard stories and been in relationships where, you know, I'm being ignored because he's running out with his friends or, or doing things with human beings. But, but he's doing this with a video game, something that's just a computer. Right. It's, it's, it's not real. Mm -hmm. How does that feel that he's choosing that over you? Uh, I have to say those uh, reports sound rather fallacious. You, man, yo, when no. you come with your shit, stop, you better stop, come, stop, man. Stop, stop, oh, stop. They don't stop, stop. because no, you're doing too much. You come on, you're not <laughs> moderating. This is borderline riding oh, right man. now. We're riding right now. We're riding. Okay. Because we're not addressing no facts. And what he said earlier See about... the China man? Uh-huh. The China man, he came from the African. Check right. him out. Check him listen, out. Check listen, him out. Check him out. Wait a minute. Who going in right Wait, now. look at him. Oh he's my a goodness. black. Tahuti's showing pictures. He's a black Tahuti folks. not addressing right. science. Right. Wait, these are. Bl I, I'm not going to do that at the moment. What I'm doing right now is just oh. showing you. Yeah. We are addressing science. This no. is part of it. No, we are showing pictures. I'm getting ready to come to you. Relax. All right. Just okay. get your facts ready. Now, I don't have these, that much. Look it's at these. Very simple. Look at these dark skinned Chinese people. These are Africans. They're Africans. Okay? Look at them. Take a look at them with the braids. The dogs, these are Africans. Broad noses. You see what I mean? All you're doing is demonstrating that the first now, look two at dynasties these. of China look at these. were black. No, 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 no. Look oh, at these. He's starting to show you the migration now. Now you see? Now you see the difference in them? Right. But they were like, they're light-skinned Africans. They're light-skinned from that particular branch of humanity. All right, you know what? I want to go on over to Inky before he explodes. One but, last point. Just look by this, showing this now, look, right at, look at this Chinese albino. Look at that shit. Now you believe that these things are just like everywhere, like under the couch. I mean, you really, <laughs> I mean, you believe every, every place, right? Not every place, but every planet. Every planet has some Chinese albino. Some form of Chinese albino. Ranging from lower to higher embodiments, not necessarily English speaking, a humanoid, or even intelligent, but a live pet. And on some of those plants that life will have evolved. Chinese albino. Now, now there's this thing going on in the Soviet Union yes. where, where it's been widely reported that, that some ship landed and some... Chinese albino. ...got out and he had this little mark on his forehead. <laughs> now, that, and he walked around and he talked to people and... Uh, Tag, you're it. <laughs> Today, landfills around the country are reaching capacity, and nobody wants a new one built in his backyard. So what is the solution? Well, one imaginative man has come up with the... Chinese albino! This is a... Chinese albino! ...that you would keep in your kitchen, which will devour all sorts of garbage. Now, I admit, they're not pretty to look at, but they're quiet, clean, efficient, and they don't bite. And if you're a fisherman, after they've had their fill, you can attach them to your line, take them out on a boat, and possibly catch some fish with them. On another ecological front, Chinese albino represent major catastrophes for both man and animal alike. Researchers at Lockheed's Missile and Space Marine Systems Division have come up with a new method to help clean up oil spills using huge numbers of obese people. This technique has been tried before unsuccessfully because the obese people need oxygen to survive and could not get through the liquid oil to breathe. Lockheed, however, with their new process called Pristine C, seems to have perfected the technique. Their process uses a combination of obese people, fertilizer, and clay. As you can see, once the obese people and the clay are applied, the clay causes the oil to curdle into cakes, therefore allowing the obese people to get to the surface for oxygen. The caking also allows for much less dangerous and much simpler cleanups by turning the oil into a solid for easy removal. As far as drawbacks go, there don't seem to be any. After the oil is consumed, 
the obese people simply die and sink to the ocean bottom. In the future, I believe that DNA engineering will allow us to create not only obese people that devour oil, but also those that will consume all types of waste, such as radioactive waste and medical waste. I think that obese people can help fight our ecological problems. If you're the parent of an overly feminine little boy, choosing the right Halloween costume is crucial for avoiding humiliation during your family's trick-or-treat outings. And luckily, our next guest is here to help us tackle this difficult problem head-on. Jim? Thanks, Trace. This is Anna Stevenson, author of Actually, He's a Boy, a how-to manual for parenting an effeminate male child. Good to see you this morning, right. Anna. Thanks for having me, I'm Jan. actually very excited to talk to you today because when my nephew, Derek, mm -hmm. turned eight, mm -hmm. he started acting giggly all the time. My brother is beside himself. He's afraid to let him out of the house, let alone on a night when everybody's dressing up. All right, well, a lot of parents feel that way, yeah. Jim. But unless you lock him in the house, you run the risk that the lady boy will sneak out on his own, dressed yes. as a ballerina. And you'll find him pirouetting on somebody's front porch with the whole neighborhood watch oh the worst nightmare but the good news is with a little creativity we can disguise your girly son as a normal kid well show us how to do that come Anna. on out Travis oh looks like we have a little soldier man here this is Travis say hello Travis hello Travis <laughs> Travis has a gun and a threatening knife there but if you want your child to depict a male dominated profession mm -hmm. be very careful not to choose one that's been co-opted by the gay community like oh. a fireman a cop a cowboy good point. otherwise right. they'll just end up looking like a stripper right exactly now let's take a look at Ben Ben come on on out. The world of science fiction is a great place to look for fearsome, violent right, characters. Right, right. So you're a scary robot, huh? I guess so. This is uh -huh. also a good costume for what I call a prancer. A prancer. A son who skips delicately instead mm -hmm. of just walking. Ben, take a few steps. Well, look at that problem solved. I want to be a pastry chef, but she would have loved it. Oh, look at this feature. <laughs> said, oh, now that's a good option. Yeah, yeah. yeah. especially if you're losing control of the yeah. situation. Here okay. we go. Next, we have Lance. Oh, hey, how you doing in there, big head? Lance has long lashes uh -huh. and an almost compulsive habit of twirling his curly blonde hair around his finger. Oh, well, not anymore with that head, right? Mm -hmm. I'm a big old. Yes, you are, are The aren't big you? head also <laughs> muffles his list. Oh, well, maybe that's a costume for my nephew, oh, then. could be. That's a great now idea. Now we have Christian. Oh. Blah. Now, is a vampire really the right choice here? Yes, well, vampires are flashy dressers, uh -huh. but it's all in the service of seducing a woman. Oh, They're okay. virile and right. dangerous, but here's what I want to show you. Yeah. By using copious Ew. amounts of blood, Girl. we have sissy oh, proof this costume. Oh, doing? now that's oh, a very menacing-looking costume. Oh, very oh, masculine. Oh, that's it happens slippery. sometimes. <laughs> Sweet. Go ahead. Okay. Well, that's oh. really neat. Now, I hope you parents at home who have faggy acting little boys have been taking notes because we've gotten a lot of good advice here. Now we're going to head back over to Tracy, who's going to show us how effective trick or treating can feed your entire family for a week. Which society gave us the very first cookbook? Was it Sumerian, Roman, Hebraic, Greek, Egyptian, Babylonian, or Assyrian? And is that your final answer? Egyptian? No, it was Greek. It's actually a Greek poet. Archaeostratus, in the 4th century B.C., has worked the art of cooking in which all the recipes were in rhyme. Indeed, at that time, the Greeks felt that a poet was more highly regaled if he would create a new recipe rather than a new poem. Now, speaking of eating, there is a woman in China, 78 years young, who since age 8 has been consuming date dirt on a virtually daily basis. It's estimated she's now consumed some 10 tons of dirt in her lifetime, and she appears to be in perfect health. And then she says the only time she feels bad is when she hasn't eaten dirt. How about that? Now we have a coffin. Recently, in Berlin, Germany, a hearse was driving along the motorway when it hit a bump. The back door opened out, the coffin fell out, and the body within spilled on the motorway. Everyone shocked. And then to add insult to injury, a bag of coffin nails also was spilled out, causing several motorists to have flat tires. And now for the case of the hungry grave. In Stankova, in the Czech Republic, a funeral was taking place. The mortician was one of the pallbearers, and as they approached the grave for the dear departed, he, he tripped and fell right into the open grave. That caused the other pallbearers to stumble, and they dropped the coffin right on him. Fortunately, missed his noggin, hit him in the chest, and is taken to the hospital, he's all right, and the dear departed, properly buried. Perhaps the most unusual funeral on record, the case of the hungry grave. Now we have a pair of house keys here. This refers to a man in Romania, in Cebu, 
was granted a divorce by his, from his wife. But the court awarded her the furniture, and he didn't want her to have it. So you know what he did? He stood up for all men. He swallowed the house keys. Now, doctors have warned him that he could develop fatal peritonitis if they're not surgically removed, but he's not relenting. He doesn't want her getting the furniture, standing up for all men's rights. And on the distaff side, recently in China, they telecast for the first time the Miss World pageant being held in Hanan, China. One man was oogling all the glamorous gals. His wife had just prepared him a delicious dinner. He wasn't paying her any heed. He was watching the glamour gals. So you know what she did to get his attention? She picked up a chair and slammed it into the TV. Yes, and got his attention. Standing up for all women's rights. Now we have the case of a good and a bad fish story. In Brussels, Belgium, an ex-fireman was attending a party when his wife noticed that a koi in a pond had suddenly stopped moving. Koi, of course, is a striped bass, very beautiful fish. He went over. He thought it might have suffered a heart attack, so he began administering heart massage to its chest and then also CPR, yes, mouth to mouth resuscitation to a fish, the kiss of life, and he revived it, and the koi is back frolicking in its pond. Now for the bad fish story. A man in Windsor, England, was fishing off the Thames. He landed a barbel, that's a three and a half pound fish, very strong. The barbel would not come in. He was pulling on the man. The man was pulling. Finally, the barbel pulled the man into the Thames, and he drowned. Yes. And now, there's a very talented woman down in Charleston, South Carolina, the T.P. Sculptor. She is actually creating sculptures of Fort Sumter, made out of T.P., a cougar, and even a house. Yes. Now, there's something I might be able to do. I'm never very good at art, but stacking T.P. might be my forte. Let's try this. I'm going to try to create the Eiffel Tower. Let's see. Do you see it? Does that not look like the Eiffel Tower? That doesn't look like the Eiffel Tower. It doesn't. Well, take that. And that concludes this edition of A Realm of Bizarre News. Like, I'm really inspired by the idea of uh, feral humans, wild humans, and, like, hybrid humans, like humans slash animals. Because um, I think we all have, like, a, a little hybrid in us. We all have a little animal in us. When I, uh, when I first got sober, I, I went on a doctor-supervised fast, and... And I, uh, you know, needed to chew. And then I, you know, we'd get handfuls of Double Bubble. And then I discovered Bubblicious. And so there was Bubblicious, Double Bubble, and Juicy Fruit. And, and then I discovered Hubba Bubble, Watermelon. And uh, Hubba Bubble brought me to my knees. What if there were no hypothetical questions? Now the prize, the only prize for the correct answer is one pat on the back that you'll have to administer to yourself. If you want a million dollars, call Meredith Vieira. But please, please do not call us. We do not have any operators to take your calls. If we did, we still could not afford prizes. I'll take a sip of water and be back momentarily with the correct answer. I, 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 I pushed off the world and I didn't have nothing to do with the world and I just prayed, trust God. And go to church, and I used to sing the choir until I dropped the rock on my toe. And I'm getting it well now. It's getting good, going fine. How'd you drop a rock on your toe? I was out there painting rocks and doing the run, and I just dropped it on the, on the, on the toe outside. I, I didn't mean to do it. God knows I didn't. I, 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 I did it right here where the toe go on in into the foot. It all starts with Rocky up here in the center. Rocky is feeling really small and insecure. He's also unaware of the vehicles of change going on all around him. Federated, 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 federated. Mother, I gotta keep doing it. Brad, don't be an idiot, you'll go blind. Mother, I've got to keep cutting prices. You're a fool, you'll go deaf, huh? You'll squirm as high prices go down the drain. A powerful 17 watt per channel Sanyo AM FM receiver at only $99. And match it up with a Sanyo stereo metal Dolby cassette deck at only $68. Hey, a lot of people think this is a Super Bowl. <laughs> I know they're wrong, you know they're wrong, but hey. Oh, this is obviously a case of artificial intelligence mistrial! <laughs>
Projected onto the book is a holographic image of hands performing the feats outlined in the text. A lot of people tell their kids, don't talk to strangers. Uh -huh. I tell my kids that all the time. Yeah. Right. Oh. When a pedophile is looking for a little boy or girl to take, he's not interested in having a conversation with him. He simply wants their small body pressed against his. Kathleen accompanied her father on this ex ethnographic exhibitions where she became intimately connected to young girls on the islands. These girls taught her complex types of string games akin to American's Cat's Cradle. What you're not seeing is invasions, colonizations, and mixing of, of blood so that people are mixing one group with another, producing different types of offspring. That's not that's true. Not, that's fact. The room is wallpapered in a bright fuchsia tapestry, and vivid oil paintings of small dogs are hung in opulent gold frames at uniform height and length. Most people in the world are good and nice, but unfortunately, there are some strange ones. And these strange ones are sick. Not sick with a cold or measles or anything like that, but sick in the mind. We call them... Americans, they have too many freedoms. That is another thing you must remember, comrade. For one day it will be your mission to destroy those bourgeois capitalist freedoms. Now many boys and girls enjoy playing in areas like this. They explore interesting places and make up games to play by themselves. But you never know when there might be a... Capitalist pig. Around. Sometimes we become so involved in what we are doing that we can't see the danger. And even if this little boy had seen the bourgeoisie, how could he know that he was a capitalist pig? There's no way to tell. The bourgeoisie looked just like everyone else. It is wise to play in deserted areas like this, especially when you are alone. I explained to Karen that you should play in any area where there are no other people around. Like this little girl was running an errand for her mother. When this capitalist pig stops her and asks directions, she politely and courteously gives him the information. But when he asks her to go with him, of course she says no, politely excuses herself and goes on her way. Never go with the bourgeoisie when they ask for directions. And if there is any trouble, just call out for help. And if you see any of your friends about to make a mistake, you can help. Now that you become acquainted with the enlightened communist system, in contrast to the outdated capitalistic way of life, you are now prepared for the next step of your indoctrination, which will be most difficult. When the moral fiber of the United States weakens, and the economy collapses under the pressure of competitive coexistence, you will assume control. You will move into every phase of American political and economic life. It will be your responsibility, comrades, to purge the minds of the reactionary Americans so that they will welcome the enlightened Soviet system and conform without resistance to the dictatorship of... Sean P. Diddy Combs. Tag, you're it! Ah! A really bright mind. She's got mammalian protuberances. People don't think a nine year old is capable of cold blooded murder, but they are. Telling me is on the border of my world and, and your world. We were planning to conquer time's power over life, its power to extinguish and erase. It would change all our lives as profoundly, as irrevocably as the atomic bomb. As Jenny got older, we started to notice mammalian protuberances. And God wants you to know that he was responsible for the young men that molested you. And I'm addicted to eating tape. He and his new teacher formed their own coven and recruited other teens to join them. As leader of a heavy metal band, Kirk Martin projected an angry, wild image on stage. It takes a whole day for me to get ready, about a good 11 hours. Off stage, people just found him mean. Wigs are everything to me. The look I go for is very chic, sexy, and very sassy. Taking advantage of women sexually became part of Kirk's heavy metal lifestyle. It's the wow factor. 
It's the diva factor, the divalicious. Kirk had no illusions about where his growing success came from. Here's a tip for you at home. Get some cling film. I always wrap it around my stomach. While Kirk pushed for fame and fortune, he tried to keep a secret bottled up inside. I do like male attention when I'm out, and straight men absolutely adore me. No matter what they tried, Jeff and the demonic forces inside him just couldn't kill that little seed of love and compassion. Despite the near-death experience, Shayla's thinking about going even larger, and her friends and family are deeply concerned. My husband doesn't want me to get any more breast surgery. And then I say, we can divorce, you know, we don't need to be together. No one can make me happy as much as my breast can. I usually chew it for about 30 seconds. Sometimes I swallow. I never just rode before a gunfire. You're an inhumane bunch of fucking living bastards and bitches, and you're going to get your asses nuked in the end, and pretty soon it's coming. This is crack. And this is what you smoke it in. Make sure you tell your dealer that you'll be using it to access the internet. That's illegal. No, newbie. I haven't broken the law. Come on, Eddie. You want to be a scientist? You've got to experience things. Just one hit, Eddie. You don't like it? Don't do it anymore. It was all downhill from there. He probably has servants and bodyguards, and believe me, they will drag you! The advancement in robots and talking robots and talk computers are you are you smacked out of your head oh excuse me i was just levitating oh i mean meditating do some more are you crazy are you sure you'll straighten me up by dinner time what do i smoke it in yeah that's how it's done i wish it was this easy at home you know i think your son would really enjoy this you don't think it could be drugs do you drugs no way. If we understood fluent meow, our cats would tell us that petting is passe because your cat wants a massage. What do you mean? I don't think I even believe the church is true anymore. When you look in the mirror, what do you see? Do you look like a monkey in a tree? Do you look like an ape or a chimpanzee? Of course I don't. I look like me. Ah, yes, the PPP Connection, a great movie by Gene Hackman, late 60s. But what do I smoke it in? Make sure someone is watching you. And have a good time. When I'm with the Lord, he'll give me a brain to understand everything. <laughs> he said, I can't comprehend that. It's so marvelous. Will all unborn babies be taken with the mother? And will these little children be taken? This is your wife to love and enjoy for the rest of your life. God is not an abortionist. Well, feed that fucking phrase, man! When a spanking hurts too much, you should tell someone. When marks are left, it hurts to touch. You should tell someone. If you get hit hard every day, no matter what you do or say, it's not fun play, it's not okay. You, you should, should tell someone. Who should you tell if you've been abused? Tell your mother or your father or your uncle or your aunt. Tell your teacher or your preacher or your rabbi. You just can't keep quiet when someone's hurting you. So, so telling, telling someone, someone is the best thing you can do. do. Stop the violence, tell someone. No oils or lotions are needed. I've heard of that stuff. Now you get to try it. Just one hit, Eddie. You don't like it? Don't do it anymore. Do, do it, it anymore. Do, do it anymore. Do it anymore. Remember the old Simon and Garfunkel song? Slow down, you're moving too fast. That says a lot about life and about cat massage. But what do I smoke it in? When Adam had sin, God said he would take a blood sacrifice for his mistake. Wow! Now that was rock and roll! Excellent, man. Possible? It's so awesome to me to think that we're going to be evacuated out of here in a moment in the twinkling of an eye, and we're going to be in heaven. Drooling. In this case, a drooler is not a person specializing in rings and watches. It's a cat who's so wrapped up in enjoying a massage that she forgets to swallow. Have you heard anything about drugs at school this year? Uh, you know... I, I don't know how to ask you this because I don't want to embarrass you or anything, but, uh, you know, is there anything on the web about, you know, uh, That's what she was there for. That was the plan, to give you a boner. <laughs> and you got one. You sabotaged my ass, society. Not only do the grandchildren love it here, but so do millionaires. And I was convicted for being the father of this country. I was convicted for being Jesus Christ and the devil. Now, if that makes any sense to your reality public, you know, there's something missing in your world. 
Chichi Rodriguez. Chichi says Chichi Chichi. You have always said, ever since I've known you, that Russia would march down from the north and that they would invade Israel. These are the prominent chest muscles seen on proud bodybuilders. If you excuse me, I have to use the little boys. Wee -wee room. Well, there are a lot of people who feel that the 1990s could be the closing of this uh, age of grace. Why? What are the signs? Oh, there's so many. I just wish I had time for every last one of them. But first of all, horseless carriages. Is it the Mormon stuff? Cammy, those are just jokes. And that makes it okay? No hamburgers, no pizza, no movies, no television. Forget them on MTV, no music. No kid brother who's always stealing your underwear out of your drawer. If my kid brother was here, I'd give him the underwear. All right. No pizza, no pizza, no pizza, no pizza. We touch all the time, so why not be the best at it? Even the New Age movement has all kinds of books now on the Space Brothers, and they are talking about an evacuation for other purposes, something about the year 2000 as the time for when it will all occur. If you don't get back on... Then what? I'll be arrested, put in airport jail. 2019, a rock's supposed to hit you anyhow. You're all going to get nuked. I play music and I smoke a little grass now and then because it helps me and I like to relax with it. That's about it. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Things started to look pretty bad all over the place. Everything was drying up. Fields of golden corn turned to dust. The babbling book babbled no more. <laughs> to think that this was once Happy Valley. Ooh, now it looked more like gruesome gulch. Anyway, days pass, weeks pass, and now in the whole kingdom there was nothing but peasants. Well, suppose we look in on some of these here peasants. This isn't a peasant, naturally. This is a cow. She used to be a good milker, but now she's an utter failure. <laughs> Anyhow, there they are. Three poor, miserable peasants gripped by the pangs of starvation. Still alive, still kicking sharing a pitiful grass between them. Share and share alike. Sharing and staring and staring and sharing and sharing. But are their spirits broken? Have they lost hope? You bet they have, because they are facing starvation. There's nothing left but beans. Beans? What am I saying? I mean bean. Now, if it were one man and three beans, well, but no, one bean and three men. Well, anyway, one nice thing, there are no bones in it. Just look at that miserable duck. Nothing but a bag of bones and feathers. Truly a picture of despair. Despairing duck. He lives and breathes and eats football. There's something very mystifying going on. It started yesterday when Mom and Dad gave Andrew and me the presents. Going on a bike ride, going on a bike ride. With a tap tap here and a tap tap there. We want fish sticks that come out of a microwave crunchy. Before and after. 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 Before. And after. before. And after, before, and after, before, and after, before, and after, before, and after. Are you going my way on the carrot highway? Are you going? What do you know? Are you with me as I motivate and navigate while I educate?
about a little sweet orange colored root. It's the story of the carrot. And it follows a road that stretches around the world. So come along and belong to my song as we travel along down the carrot highway. Are you going highway? Down the carrot highway. Are you going highway? Down the carrot highway. They taste so good on my salad. They're fun as a tasty snack. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Hollywood, California, the entertainment capital of the world. I'm Mark Allen, and together we're going to explore getting your child into TV commercials. They're frozen or steamed or cut up or creamed, and they can really take the cake. Are you going my way on the carrot highway? Are you going my way on the carrot highway? They're frozen or steamed or cut or creams and they can really take the cake. Are you going my way on the carrot highway? Are you going my way on the carrot highway? No matter how you slice it, no matter how you feel, nutritious Crunch. or delicious, a happy part of any meal. Crunch. Give me a bunch, I got a hunch, I got a munch, a bunch of carrots. Crunch. That's right, don't tell me no, cause now I gotta go down the carrot highway. Are you going my way on the carry highway? Are you going my way on the carry highway? Are you going on the carry highway? Are you going on the carry highway? That's what we have to be careful of. Children have to take direction and say what they're told to say. He went in. jumble of bodies and I don't really get it. You see what I mean? These guys are going up here and these guys are going up here and nothing really happens. I don't really understand it, Tim. And Uncle John went on and 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 on Nobody really hugs but me and you. Will you just keep trying, sweetheart? Everybody needs hugging. No excuses left. Time to get started. I'd like to introduce you to a lady that you're going to grow to hate every bit as much as I do. Look at the way you act. Don't you know the kind of messages you send out? What are you talking about? You were asking for it. I'm not a sex object. And I don't dress like one either. Are you afraid of me? No, of course not. Come on, baby. I'm going to make you feel like a man. Don't try to play. I know you want it. You're just playing hard to get. No, I'm not. You really don't mean that. Yes, I do. Oh, I can't just stop. You got me all turned on. You can't just tease me and leave me. Come on, let go. Well, I hope as you watch the tape, you become inspired. You realize there's a great problem out there relating to drugs and alcohol. And you realize, as a magician, you can do something about it. You can use magic to fight drug abuse. Witches don't congregate the way we do. They circle. Don't you just want to die? sounds silly. My password was password. Okay, um, computer and password. All right, you are set. Great, thanks. thanks a lot. You have a good one. I know this sounds silly. My password was password. Okay, um, 
computer and password. All right, you are set. Great, thanks. thanks a lot. You have a good one. Credit cards and ATMs may cease to function. Oh, Frank. Her keeping me young is killing me. Hacking is easy. I'm as good as new. Insides are still a little squishy, but I'll dry out. Grandma's always taking vitamins and stuff. I just wondered if there's a medicine that could make people younger. Marijuana. Through the mirror? First we gotta get it real squishy. Come on, I need your hug. When I was little, I heard voices in my mirror too. Sometimes, when I'm targeting a company, I'm looking for something very specific. Hospitals, clinics, pharmacies may be unable to provide proper medical care. You know my name. Elijah was swept away by a whirlwind into heaven the exact way a UFO travels. We're not talking about drinking water here. We're talking about toilet water. I have containers all over my house, all over my yard. I have them in the bedroom. I have them in the linen closet. Store them, store them, store them. Once it leaves the safety of your memory, there's no telling where it might end up. That fetus within the mother will go. Great. Like uh, repeating one letter or five letters in a row on the keyboard. Do not use plastic bags for your toilet. Will it be possible to kind of beat the system, the 666 system, Jack? What is the New World Order? What will Christians do during that thousand years? What do you think is next on God's prophetic clock? This is a time like no other. A prophecy unfolding. And it could happen at any moment. Wow! Look at this place! Yeah, this is great! Now can I listen to the radio? Yeah, but I want to hear CBS. No. Who Food is fighters. it? Fighters. Who? Who fighters? Food fighters? Foo. 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 What is foo? Foo. F -O -O. What is foo? What is foo? I don't know what foo is. Well, how can you be a foo fighter? Does it mean if you're... you play guitar and sing the song, you're a foo fighter? Is it a Chinese group? I don't even know how to play this game. Wow. So you want to be a teenage ninja. Camels are great. You can move them around, you can stick them there, and you see a camel on sand, it says desert. Since the drake is 2-2 two, two, and the sprite is 5-5... Five, five, Moon sprite. And since the ogre is 3-3 three, three, and the cadet is 1-1... One, one, Swamp. But since the knight is 2-2 two, two, and his elf is 1-1... One, one, Mountain. You would destroy the elf and you would take no damage. But his ogre would survive to hit you later. We can't proceed until that's done. Wind drake, wild griffin, knight errant, Island, island, plains, plains, and giant octopus. The darker words. The elf and cadet destroy each other because they're monstrous growth. The drake and the knight, by ganging up, each deal two damage and can fly. Can uh, your knight fly, player B? Well, I can't attack with my ogre warrior because I just scathe the zombies. But can my willow elf and moon sprite? By making the moon sprite bigger, only the wind drake could block it. <laughs> it's really an attempt to make a factual account of this book and really make it believable. It's an industry of make-believe. This could happen tomorrow. Hey, this is great. Totally cool. Radical, man. This is too weird. Am I dreaming? So you want to be a teenage ninja? Let me begin to show you what you gotta do. You gotta know the rules and pay your dues if you wanna graduate from this ninja school. There's four levels of the test that you must complete. Once you pass them all, you'll never be beat. So listen up, listen hard, cause the lesson's gonna start. So prepare oh, yourself oh. for the ancient ninja art. Get the power, Get the power. inner energy. Ninja power. Ninja power. Slows up electricity. And now what you've all been waiting for, right? Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, 
the Antichrist. I'm amazed at the moms that just sort of let their child experiment with all types of styles. It's not Gore-Tex. Not a chance. People could be raptured and just disappear, and there could be chaos all over the world. Let's get out of here! Ladies, let me tell you, I had to keep reminding myself, Chloe, this is your father. Turner? 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 Tyler? Turner, Taylor, Tanner. You don't want a bubble jacket? No, I don't want that bubble jacket, but I want to look in the gap first. Mr. Quigley? Yes, Trundle? How does someone obey? Well, when we obey, we do what we're told to do. Have you ever been lied to? Have you ever suffered a loss because you trusted the wrong people? Imagine being able to make important decisions secure that you know the truth. All I did was eat a chili dog with pickles, and all of a sudden, I'm living in Siberia. Listen to me. Do not, I repeat, do not ever throw a bottle or can out of your car window onto the highway. If you do, I will follow your car, I will come to your house, and I will tell you to your face, take it back, recycle it, and believe me, I can get very nasty. What is wrong with this man? Is this just a good time? Or is there something of a deeper significance going on here as well? Originally developed for elite security forces, this breakthrough technology is now available to the public. What type of effects does this music have upon people? Stop, think, listen to your heart. Don't be scared, hey. Is it only rock and roll? Rock and roll is a lie. And that lie almost killed me. And it's worth noting that both the scriptures and church traditions suggest that music comes quite naturally to Satan. Satan! Satan! Come out here! Satan! Where are you? Satan! Satan! You're yellow, Satan! Ain't a harmless meatball hero with a couple of onions on it. What happens? Nobody wants to come near me! Shortcuts all alone. Go with buddies, call mom at home. Never tell a stranger your name. Don't give out your number of names. Okay, the day I decided to lose weight was a big turning point for me. You know how I made that decision? I looked at myself nude in a full length mirror, and I didn't like what I saw. Satan doesn't just manifest his power through a Hitler or a Manson. He can use your favorite guitarist, a pretty pop singer, maybe even you. Obeying is doing something you're told to do. lot of ways to obey. Like obeying your parents? Or someone else who loves you. This shows that we love God. You can even eat Mexican food. Oh. Every other religion in the world says in one way or another that we are not really that bad and that through our own efforts we can redeem ourselves. In this they share the bottom line of Satanism and much of rock and roll. Are you finding this an easy diet to stay on? I certainly am. Slow down on the rate of brainwashing by turning off your TV and your stereo for a few weeks. There are so many ways to kidnap kids. No black masses or wild sex rituals are necessary to be a follower of Satan. I want you to go to a mirror in your home and really look at yourself and be honest. <laughs>
Thank <laughs> you. 